in our history as a nation, we've never before required college students to take anything remotely like this level of debt. Worse still, we're requiring students to accumulate huge amounts of debt to get bachelor's degrees, let alone more advanced degrees, at the same time that we offer the graduates the poorest job market and prospects in a generation. That's a one-two punch. You have to borrow more than you can afford to face a job which will not allow you to ever pay it off. Hence this person's very intelligent question. How is this going to work? We've solved the, a, a problem in our society, how to educate the next generation. And let me tell you, this is an important matter. We economists believe that the single most important factor shaping the future of any economy in the world, including the United States, is the quality and the quantity of the educated, trained labor force it produces. Colleges and universities are where we do that. If we're crippling an entire generation with debts they cannot support and jobs that will not encourage them to continue in their studies, we are, as a nation, shooting ourselves in the foot going forward. It's a, it's a demonstration of the dysfunctionality of our system. And then the question comes, could we forgive the students' debts? Well, it's an interesting idea, but how then do you go to the people who can't afford their credit card debts or their home debts or their mortgage debts? Uh, they're all hurting, and the students have a special claim. I give them that, and we need those students. I understand it. But we have to go at the root of a society which allows unspeakable wealth to accumulate in the hands of a tiny minority while condemning an entire generation of students to a set of burdens. We don't want them to have those burdens. We need what they can produce for us as a society.